Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I have orators. Will it play? Well, it certainly will if opponent changes. And it should play if he plays because, oh, well, the, the tiles in orators are fairly good for overlapping other tiles. I don't think orators has an anagram. And there will be some eights, but probably not a huge number. Double O, double R, as soon as you're into the territory of two sets of duplicate tiles, the number of bingos shrinks. Well, opponent has not gone away, but he did spend an awful lot of time on that move. So, Yao does take an S, so I do have orators in row I. Do I have it parallel to Yao? Well, I do, making OW, so that would be possibly scoring slightly more. Do I have a play through the Y? No. Ah, but look at this. There's an E in the middle of the board. Fantastic. So I have sorrow rate for 77. And that's pretty horrendous. No vowels apart from the U, which is going to be firmly attached to the Q. But there are plenty of vowels on the board. So do I have a Q U play through the yep, through the A of sorrow rate? Well I have qua. However, the five letter rack leaf from that is appalling. And frustratingly I don't have any longer words than qua. What about a play through the O of sorrow rate? I have quap, which is slightly better. I'm not going to play off the Q and the V, so the V is stuck on my rack. And look at this, I have quap through the O of Yao, so it's likely that one of those will remain available. Q with you has positive rack leave value, so I could contemplate playing off some of my other scoring tiles, but it's going to be difficult to play off F, K and V, probably impossible. And if I play off just F and K, however good Q is with you, Keeping the V on the rack is a major downer. F and V are also pretty poor as a combination. They lack synergy, and I will be retaining them if I play Quop. But I think the 30-odd points for Quop means I shall just have to go with that. Now, both Quops remain available. How about this U? Not useful. I think I'll play here rather than in row F in order to obstruct column one bingos ending in S. I do have a lead to protect. Look at this rack leave. This is grim. Time to pray for some vowels. And I get a couple. Jolly good. So I have Fink on my rack and that will be splitting up F and V. Not a huge number of obvious spots for my scoring tiles. Wow. Column four looks interesting because I have the N for chin and the F for if. So I have Fon. Let's see what this scores. 36, pretty good. Rack leave, pretty poor. Can I do better than this? Not sure I can in, in that spot. What about elsewhere? I've got nothing which goes after the U. Can't see anywhere for knife or knifed. Well, I have that at face value in row K, but that's not going to compare with Fon as a score and rack leave combo. I am going with this. Well, that's not too bad. I'm still plagued with scoring tiles, but that's a nicer plague than some that are available within the game of Scrabble. 
and I do have bowels to assist in getting rid of these. So I have Pavid and Vapid on my rack. Not seeing anywhere for those. I think Sorrow Rate takes an S. I'm pretty sure it doesn't take a D. Now I do have a tile for going next to the U in the P, but no E for going next to the R, so what do I have as a higher up parallel play? So it would need to end AIP, well that is pretty restrictive. Great, just 18 points for opponent. He hasn't really provided anything. So what about the bottom here? My P can go next to... Ah, I have Pavid in this spot. Gosh, I should have spotted that earlier. Is my for... Are my fortunes going to change in respect to the recent run of racks? Pavid for 34. And they do. Look at this beauty. Absolutely fabulous rack. What do I have now? Roro is now a triple triple lane, and whenever you've got a decent rack and a triple triple lane and the blank, one's hopes rise. Well, they also shrink again as soon as opponent takes that spot. However, this rack is so good, I am sure there is a bingo here. So, where are the best lanes? Well, Column 9, I can get the points for Delve and Sorrow Rate, but the move is a whole, it doesn't get doubled. What about Column 1, beginning with S? Well, the blank would have to be an O or a U. No, I can't see a bingo there. I guess I could play in row N. But that play would open up a scoring spot in row O. What about column 9? Maybe overlapping more than one. I do have Sarkia, so that's my back pocket bingo. But what about a higher up play? So a play with E and S in. The K is the slightly problematic tile, so I'm not seeing anything there. 15 minutes on my clock. What about a play through the W? Possibly ski wears, but that doesn't, doesn't work. I feel there could be something through that W, and it may be better than anything I've considered so far. I'm going to have a quick squiz through the alphabet. This rack plus a W. Nothing so far. Gorkia plus an S. I keep seeing I E R words, but not many of those take an S. Swankia does. Or well, Swankia does play, it doesn't take an S. Should I continue this exercise? I should, in case I can get my K doubled. So I have Swankia. That's Ski Wears. Great. Let me see what this scores, and then I'll decide if this is best. So. That's 78, and it's pretty safe. It's really not providing anything super hot. I think a play like Saki would also be, provide, be providing very little. But that would score about 71 points, so I'm going with Swankia. And that is a great pickup. That is very close to a bingo. Through an I, I would have... I think inedibly, and there is an eye in Swankia. 
I'm starting to doubt that. Now, I have bylined as a 7. Does that play? Yes, it does. Look at this. I have it in column 9, making delved, and also in row N. And surely opponent will be distracted by the play I've just made. So anywhere else for byline? I don't think so. And look at this, I lead by 150 points. Fantastic. But can I extend it even further? I feel like a bloodbath. Come on. What other bingos are available? And are there any hot lanes I haven't considered? Now, Bendley, I think, may be an anagram of bylined. Does that play anywhere? Well, it does play in row N. And maybe I should return to the byline spots. Actually, I don't think I need to. Column 9 doesn't get doubled. Row N does. 13 points in Benderley and only 9 in Delved. And this is not placing a vowel next to this double letter square. However, it's providing a ton of useful floaters. And bylined in column 9 would do the same. However, this definitely scores more. I am going with this. Pretty good. Pretty good. A balance rack. All bingo -y tiles. Do I have a bingo? I have cilantro in column 11 through the I, and I have contrail, its anagram, at the bottom of column 11, the same column. So both of those could be blocked. What else do I have? Anything through an E? Well, not that I can see. I may have cantoral through... Well, I take that back. I don't have can cantoral. Well, cantoral may be good, but I'm, I don't think it is. And in any event, there are no floating A's. So I'm looking around at the other floaters in case the worst thing in the world happens and both of my column 11 bingos are blocked. Still one blank to come. Now, which is better? Cilantro or Contrail? That's 16. And, well, I think I must have got my counting wrong because just looking at the column, the moves have to score the same. And I think Chilantro doesn't place a vowel next to this double letter square. Now, do I have anything beginning with S? Not that I can see. I think I've already considered the E. There are two on the board, so if there is a bingo through that, it could be... It could be available should the column 11 bingos be blocked. Well, and they're not. Does ch I'm really not sure if it's chilantro or cilantro. Chilantro, maybe. So that's 70. Should I be looking for anything better? I don't think so. I'm going with this. Wow, what a ridiculously good pickup. I have Eta Erio as a 7. Does that play? Not sure it does. Still 20 tiles to come, and I lead by over 250 points with this dream rack. Well, dreamish. I haven't actually identified a playable bingo, but it's always a pleasure to see the blank. Now, I can't see anything down from the S. I do have five vowels, so there aren't going to be many bingos available with these tiles even though I have the blank. 
So Eta Aereo, certainly the only seven I can see. What about the floating R of Swankia? Does that... Ah, I have Aero Light through that, so I do have a playable bingo. Fantastic. I've decided it's Chilantro. There may be a third anagram of Chilantro and Contrail. Not sure about that. However, now, Cud takes an S in front. What a shame it doesn't take an E or a T. So, Aerolite for 58. And the rack isn't great, but I've had a good run, and I do have the X. So, any hot X spots on this board? Well, I'm not sure about an X spot, but the top of row A, top right, is pretty handy with this vowel next to a double letter square. I'm sure my opponent will have noticed that as well. And he does, 60 points for him. Diminishes my lead to just 230 points. Still seven tiles in the bag, they're quite bingo-y. 12 minutes on my clock. Nox is good, but I can only get that to play once. Can't, I don't have anything above bylined. I have Dixie on my rack. Interesting, I could play that in column 14. 1-0 to come. Well, I was playing fairly quickly. But this rack has made me pause for thought. I'm not in a hurry to play off, to play off the X. The rest of the rack is super non-bingo. I'm really looking around for any good scoring spots. So, I have bid in this spot, 32 points, always nice to get over 30. G and X go pretty poorly together. Anything better than this? Still, well, 11 minutes on my clock. This really doesn't feel great. Well, hid is going to be a little bit better. Thirty-five points. Horrible. Rack leave. Where can I do better? Well, I'm I'm not seeing anywhere. I am going with this. Wow, I draw the Z as well. Absolutely fantastic drawing. But look at this, two, two S's to come. So this row A, S hook for cud. And opponent plays there. Fantastic play. 81 points for opponent. Empties the bag. I can see what he's got. So if he would have a Rue Hay through an R. No R's. What else is available? There are no fours here. He needs a floating consonant or consonants. No, I'm not seeing an out for opponent, so it's for me to play two moves. How can I do that? Nine minutes on my clock. G and A go in front of HI. Well, I've got the G. That doesn't go well with Z or X. What about playing Z and X at the same time? So I do have Zex here for 32 points. 
am I going to go out with these tiles? There's no O for bigot. There's the floating I. That doesn't enable me to go out. I may not be able to go out in two, but I have an awful lot of time left. Let me just pause in case there's a, there is a way of going out. Something like Zybet and Ox, for example. Zin is good, but I can't get that to play twice. I can't use this triple word square. I have Ibex on my rack. Does that generate anything of interest? No, it doesn't. I'm thinking about playing Zex. Let me see what that sets up for opponent. Probably something pretty good. Maybe not, maybe just XU. I still don't like this play. Let me have a quick thing. Do I have anything through this eye? I don't think I do. Well, I have an exit. That doesn't feel better than Zex. I don't have anything in the middle of this J and E. I have the, the E, but nothing longer and better. Well, I have reservations about this, but I haven't seen anything better. I can't really use, use that X myself, but I am thinking that opponent may be drawn to it. So what do I have? Very, very little that I've spotted. But I have been looking to jettison the, the big tiles. Just looking at these pairs of tiles between Chilantro and Aerolite in case I can slot something in but I'm not seeing it. Well the game is over in terms of who's going to win. I have a, a handsome lead. Opponent's got an A for Azo so he could play AH. 24 points. And he's got 18 for Zoo, so not, not massive scores. Perhaps slightly higher than he has elsewhere on the board. Opponent got five minutes left. He spent forever on his first move, about five minutes. But I guess he's been playing fairly swiftly since then. I have Jib and B, so I have identified a candidate move. It scores incredibly little. But it does get rid of the two highest scoring tiles on my rack. Yeah, AH for opponent. Doesn't provide anything for me. Opponent's got EU. I have Jib for 10. Is this really the best? Bin would be 10. Oops is good. Doesn't play twice. Well, I think this may be suboptimal, but I'm going with it. And I didn't check whether opponent could go out. He's got Zoo, so he may choose to go out in two. He's also got Sue in column one, which would be an out. Ah, oh, now I guess I could have played XI for 18 in that spot, but I didn't. Ah, I've still got to play. Okay, I'm prematurely thanking my opponent. 
So where can IT play? Let me do this somewhat methodically. I have eight for three. I have TI here for 10, six minutes on my clock. Not seeing anything, anything better. I'm going with this. And the final score. 363 for my opponent, 561 for me, a winning margin of 198 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a high-scoring game. An excess of goodies in that game. Mainly in the form of bingo racks. Now, it was opponent to go first. He played Yao. And I have sorrow rate for 77 and just different placements of orators elsewhere. Opponent plays arguer. Wow, quonk. Gosh. Much better than quop. Burning off more high scoring tiles and scoring a lot more. So that was a miss. Opponent plays mini. Donko D4. Wow. Donko, Chin and Car. That would have been pretty pretty good. Dvornik through the R of Arguer. Wow. What do I do? I do Fon for 36. Yeah, it's up there. That probably in well, certainly inferior to Donko, I think. Opponent's rack. Plays want. And I have about a 70-point lead with a non bingo rack, but that's about to change. And here we go. This is the start of the roller coaster. Now, Archites N8 are above the E of Delve and getting the K tripled. That's pretty good. So I play Swankier for 78, and I left 14 points on the table. Opponent's rack plays me, and now I have bylined, and look at this, inedibly was good. Fantastic. And also note that uh, Benderly doesn't appear because it's not good. It's bylined only. Opponent's rack plays fur, and look at this, Chilantro and Contrail, the only bingos. So I think I have had three back-to-back -back bingos in Swankier, Bylined and Chilantro. And that has projected me to a huge game-winning lead. Opponent sitting here with a rack of misery. But he does have both S's, which I think prompts this play. And look at this, my fourth back-to-back -back bingo. Aerolite just rubbing salt into the wound. Just the way it should be rubbed. Now... Opponent's rack plays Jag, Jaga, and he does have a, a bit of a comeback. And after four back to back bingos, my bingo run ends. Dry egg, H10. Wow, that's nice. That is nice, 36 points. Dixie, F14. Ah, uh, well, allowing the exo hooks are not so good. I play hit for 35, which is up there in the mix and retains the extra score next turn. But I would have played dry egg if I'd seen it. And I know it's not pronounced that way. So Santols for opponent. Zex, I-10. Well, that was my play. And nothing obviously better. But I would be surprised if it simulates best with this X next to a double word square. Wow, opponent does have an out, Kehua, C10, down from this K, K-E-H-U-A, wow. However, he doesn't play that, plays R. 
and will I play jib for 10? And I could have got a play which was worth six more points, d14, by playing bit and it. And now opponent does have a choice of outs, but plays zoo for 18. And I have it for 10, which is best. Well, I have tie, which is effectively the same word. And that's the end of that. So what a what a game. And really what a contrast to the run of games I've had recently. I've had some 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 brutal encounters, but that's the way Scrabble goes. And I've also had a, a, a run of losses, which is also part and parcel of the game. And then you approach each game afresh. You don't know what's going to happen. Your, a run could continue or the corner could be turned or you might just have a, a solitary victory as a blip. Well, whatever of those last two options it is, it's always a pleasure to win by about 200 points and to get a score over 500 points. So many thanks to my opponent for a good game. I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.